You know, the same kind of lithium ion batteries that are powering your smartphones and tablets, they're enabling a whole new segment of e-mobility devices, things like electric bicycles and electric scooters. I'm riding the M3 e-scooter from the company EcoRico. I'm really impressed by the sturdy construction of this. This is all aluminum, fairly thick aluminum throughout. Up here on the handlebars, we've got our brake lever, we've got our accelerator, that's this little thing right here, and we have a gauge. We've got our start switch here to turn the whole thing on, and this gauge shows our speed, the charging level, and the total miles I've traveled. Now down on the deck here, we've got our two wheels, front and back of course, and these are actually solid rubber tires, so you won't get flats, and they're fairly wide to handle the, the rigors of an urban environment. We've got little shocks here. Uh, they don't do too much. I notice the ride's kind of rough if you're on really rough pavement. We have a kickstand. That's really convenient. And on this rear wheel, we have a 250-watt electric hub motor. That's uh, integrated back in here. Along the side here, we've got a charging port. This battery pack on here can be charged from zero to full in four and a half hours, or zero to 80 percent in two and a half hours, according to the company. EcoRico also says this lithium ferrophosphate battery chemistry means this battery can go through a thousand charging cycles. So it's pretty long lived compared to a lot of other batteries on the market. All right, to get this thing started, you actually have to run it by foot a little bit. That's a safety measure. Once it's rolling, then I can push the accelerator and I'm under power. One convenient safety measure too is that if I push this brake lever while the accelerator is going, it'll actually feet the accelerator so I can brake even with my hand fully depressed on the accelerator. This thing feels pretty stable at speed like this, but I gotta admit the ride isn't all that smooth. It's a little bit rough. It's these hard tires and the suspension isn't all that soft. This gauge here is also a little bit hard to monitor when you're underway. I'm thinking maybe a center mounted gauge would be easier. I'd also like to see some lights on this thing for riding at night. And one of the key features of the M3 e-scooter is it's foldable, so I can fold it down just like this. I can pick it up and carry it on a train or a bus. Except, well, it weighs 34 pounds, so I'm gonna get that workout I missed a while riding instead of walking. The M3 lists for $999. You can find a lot of other e-scooters on the market, but the M3 is lighter than the others, has more range, higher speed, and its battery will last longer. It's a bit more expensive than the competition too, but if it gets you to work on time, it might be worth it.